Trading up? Looking for a clean, late model car pickup? Yes, sir. What can I do for you today? Well, Tim Shepard. Great to see you, Tim. Really great. Yeah, I promised I'd look at this here truck for Derek Curtis. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Daryl's in here looking at this thing. He, uh... You know, it's great to see the guys from the old neighborhood again, Tim. It's... It's nice. Listen... Guess you must have heard, uh... Heard me and Linda got married. Yeah, I heard. Thought you were up in Stillwater. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we were up there. We, uh... Sales manager position opened up here about two weeks back, so we uh, just moved back to town. Listen, uh, I heard Daryl's folks died. Is that true? Car wreck, yeah. Ooh, car wreck. That's rough. Hope those folks had some insurance. Leave some money behind for the boys. Linda, honey, you remember Tim Shepard, don't you? Tim, Linda, my wife. Linda. Hello, Tim. Hey, Tim, look at this rock we got her here. Never saw one like that in the old neighborhood now, did we? Unless, of course, somebody stole it. <laughs> Linda, honey, look, you know I got customers here all day long, right? If you need to reach me, just call me on the phone and I'll get back to you when I can. I know, Hal, but... Listen, just go on home, all right? We'll talk tonight. What I do here comes first. How many times do I got to tell you that? Sure, Hal. Nice to see you, Tim. Women. You can't live with them, you can't live without them. You know, we just bought a big place up there in the, uh, the Ellsworth section. We just moved in. Listen, Tim, it was great to see you. Uh, this truck's real fine by for Daryl. You just tell him Hal's here waiting to deal, okay? You'd be good. Buck has this saying that there's only two things that matter in this world. One's love, and the other's loyalty. He says the most lasting of loves and the strongest of loyalties are the ones tested the hardest. Damn, five on Walker Ridge. Now, you guys are smart guys. All right, out. Out, everybody out! Now, you boys wait right there. Matthews, I might have known. What's been going on here? Oh, nothing. Would it surprise you to know you're supposed to be in English class right now? I've been sending notes home to your father for a meeting, and I haven't heard from him. Well, he works. Well, Matthews, I'm suspending you until I can sit down with you and your father and talk out these problems you've been having here at school. And I'll see all of you boys in my office now. Oh, you can't be surprised that I'm suspending you, Matthews. There's no one else in school that comes close to you in detention hours. I'm trying, but I'll do what I can. You got my word on it. Hey, Tubit, how about riding the DX? Oh, I'm just going that way myself. You okay? Never been better, pony boy. Never been better. Who are those two guys you were talking to? Oh, them just guys, no. Never saw them around here before. They're businessmen, pony boy. They're businessmen. You mean, uh, your new business? The very same. You know, tomorrow night, Walker Ridge against Roosevelt. A lot of bets going down, pony boy, and I'm taking action. Walker Ridge will kill him. Well, Steve doesn't seem to think so. And I've been making a lot of money for him lately. I'd be doing the same for Soda if he'd get smart and let me. What those books you read? Walt Whitman, he's a poet. And Jack Kerouac, I think you'd like them both. Well, why? Because they write about being free, being themselves. Well, I ride pony boy, my kind of guy. That's uh, four quarts of oil, lube job, oil filter, change air filter, and replace the fan belt. Hey, that's it. Tomorrow night, top row in the bleachers. I'm saving you a seat. Great, I'll be there.
going to the game tomorrow night? Never miss a game. Okay, yeah, look for me there. I'll save you a place. Okay, I will. I'll look for you there. Party time tomorrow night. Just you and me, Soda. Just us. Six points. Walker is favored by six. What do you think? Six is awful good. What are you talking about? Roosevelt doesn't have a chance. They haven't beaten us in four years. Hold it, hold it. Do you ever hear me say I'd go against old Red and Gold? Not for my lips. Got Billy Wood, our own neighborhood hero. Walker Ridge is our school, it's our team. But there's no way they're gonna win by more than six points. That's all I'm saying. No, smart money says that Bill and the boys will take it. Smart Money also says by six points or less. Shoot, just don't make sense betting against your own school. Hey, since when it ain't all right to bet against your own school? We don't even go there. Remember we dropped out? School spirit died with Edsel's and hula hoops. Like money in the bank, Steve. Last chance, Soda, I got two more stops to make. No, nope, not me. What about you, pony boy? What do you say put a couple bucks into you? Hmm? Win a little something for your buddies Whitman and Kerouac. No thanks, too, bitch. All right. You're lost. Come on, Betsy. Come on, baby. What's gotten into him? Two months ago, you couldn't get him to bet on the weather. Saw two of his business friends today. They came to school. I figured Tim to be a saint next to those two. Now tell me about this big new house. Must be making a lot of money. Figure I'd come by and check it out, see how far uptown Lynn had gone. Man, if I'd have talked to you the way Hal did, you'd have come at me with a two by four. I take some of the stuff. How about you? How you doing? Me? I couldn't be better. Got me a big desk job. Actually, I'm somewhere between apprentice and journeyman, pulling pipe. <laughs> Physical labor, you know. I do my best work when I'm sweating. Well, I'm glad you're happy, Tim. I saw you today, and I just thought about the way we used to be. There was a time when I spent more time in juvie hall than you. You got that right. Yeah. I heard you did some hard time. Most folks thought it was bound to happen. They were right. So you happy with all this, Linda? Sure. Do you want to come and see the inside? I'll make